Hello, Robbie. All right. Hello. Absolute legend. Hey. Hello, camera. So we've been doing quite a lot of uh, filming over the past few weeks over the summer with Tubes and his brother Ange and uh, for his YouTube channel. Been helping him out uh, a bit. And today's the last one because he's back at work on Monday, I think. Go back to Soccer AM. So uh, we're off to do Seb on Golf. Done three this week, in fact. Yeah, Jermaine Penn on Monday, the F2 uh, yesterday, and yeah, this one today. So we're off to Watford. Watford's not that exciting. This is the bit on the journey that whenever we go through a tunnel, Chiefs doesn't understand where we're going through. Because what are we going under here? We go, it's the Dartford Tunnel, we've been under about 20 times. Happened again on Monday, didn't it? Yeah, it happened again because I didn't realise. Well, it goes under the Thames, you know that, Ange? No, I did, no. Yeah, no. we're going under the Literally Thames. Literally, everyone knows what the Dartford yeah. Tunnel is. Well, I, I do know now. But you forgot. Yeah, I forgot. All I wanted to know is like how. How. How do you start building something like this? How do you. What, who lays yeah, the little tunnelling machines, I think. It's like one end. Yeah, yeah, but then if you're doing the little tunnelling thing. Doesn't the water come in to, no. to your machine? No, you're getting under, you're getting under rock. Yeah. Oh. Same as drilling through a mountain, really. If you open okay. up, it collapses it. Okay. Also, they were thinking about having a glass roof initially, so you can see the fishes and stuff. Sure. Maybe it's too expensive. You're, 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 you're winding me up, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am now. Here we are, guys. We've made it. Top Golf Watford. Did quite a lot of stuff for free this week for friends. I've been helping out Pete for no money uh, because I'm a nice person. I like hanging out with him. I like what he's trying to do and uh, I want him to be a success. So and it's quite, quite fun days. They're not bad. I went to help my friend Mark, uh, who's a lawyer up in Norwich, helping film his thing for free uh, in the week as well. Uh, because he's been really nice to me, he's helped me out with a few legal things over the years, it's nice to do something back. I think there's a there's quite a lot of, people slag off doing stuff for free now, don't they? There's a lot of things about, oh, you're doing it for exposure and that. But I think there's a difference between doing something for exposure that isn't uh, useful, like, I know, just someone who's just not paying you because they're tight and saying it's for exposure, and doing something that actually benefits you so through even doing stuff with tubes you've ended up doing some with some branded thing for uh menu this thing through that so it's already sort of made money from that and you you meet people you do things and things help you out down the way so well worth doing things for free but like not all the time i think anyway good to help people out just saying i've enjoyed helping you out this summer oh you've been absolutely amazing and this wouldn't have happened without you because you're really like a special person like so good because editing and like filming I really really thank you so much what are you doing here today mate oh we're playing um top golf with Seb on golf um and he's very very good and I'm very very poor so it could be quite amusing and depressing what is top golf top golf is a fun way of enjoying your golfing experience um, if you look over there, just lots of different holes and there's lots of different games you can play. Um, it's very fun and I'd recommend it if you were learning golf or just fancy practicing. It's, it's fantastic. I've still not got into golf even though we've been filming these quite a while with tubes. I just haven't played it but I do need to give it a go. I need some kind of lessons or something I think or some kind of training because otherwise it's just going to be a bit depressing isn't it? So. I guess I'll teach you at some point, but in the meantime, I'm just a happy spectator. How's that, mate? It was absolutely brilliant. Had so much fun. Um, great contest. I can't wait for you guys to see it, but yeah, it's just been great. Big fan of Top Golf, really. It makes me quite good at golf. What's been your favourite bit of doing YouTube golf stuff? Uh, well, working with you, obviously. Besides that. Oh, okay. Um, finding out good stories uh, about the footballers and getting them in a relaxed atmosphere and just having a chat. Uh, like a podcast on a golf course. I like it. I, I enjoy it. And everyone seems to enjoy it, so I enjoy it. 
just done a bit of filming for Seb's channel. I really like Seb. He's really knowledgeable about YouTube things and digital stuff and all that. Comes from a, a sort of royal family of YouTube types. Brothers are uh, Spencer FC and Saunders. He does great sort of travelly content and that. Does lots of Formula E now and all that. Really want to do more travel videos. I know you watch Saunders, so watch, make some more travel videos. Come on, pull your finger out. Uh, and now we're off back into Tubes' car. Uh, where we're going to go off to a golf course and film some stuff for tubes. Pete, how's your art? My art? Are you good at drawing? No, nah, not really. I know what art is. That's cool. <laughs> so, um, one of our viewers, Sophia Sample, uh, messaged and asked if um, we could do a little bit of art. There's, they're having like, this competition, this yeah. thing uh, to raise money for. Salisbury Museum and uh, to uh, also make an artificial football pitch as well. Cool. Um, and what they're doing is they get loads of artists and loads of big names to um, make, to do little drawings on a postcard that people can, end, can buy postcards and they might get some really famous art, artist or they might get an original by tubes. So basically, draw something on that. What are you going to do? Um, so I think. I'm going to do a picture of me and my hobbies, well some of my hobbies, so I've got a big round face, little eyes, so I like football, that's a football. And I like uh, golf, so I'll draw a little flag there. Like that. I was going to draw a little tuft of hair, that's what I used to have, but now I've got no hair, as you can see, so I've left him bald. And it's a nice sunny day, so I put the sun up there. And I'm just going to do uh, a little speech mark with. Enjoy life to the full. And I'll sign it here because it's going to probably go for millions of pounds and raise loads of money for the charity. The date on as well, the date, did not they? Peter Dale. The year on. Uh, period of your art. 2019. Uh, and I'm going to write in brackets original. Is this the first piece of art you ever created? Uh, second least. I did one at school. And um, which one's the best? This one, or the this, other? this, this, because I thought about it. So, whoever, whoever receives that is one lucky human being. If you want to have the chance to win Pete's piece of artwork for money, uh, then you can. I'll put the details down below. If I've got more, I'll mention it in another video or something. I'll do, I'll do something like that. I'm gonna do mine later. the end of the last shoot of Tubes' summer holidays. It's been good fun. Uh, I've enjoyed <laughs> hanging out with people and I've also quite enjoyed being in lovely golf course places like this. Look, it's beautiful, look. It's nice. It's just the playing of the golf that puts me off the sport. I don't know, one day, one day. Morning, I'm at the University of East Anglia in Norwich. I went to university, filming in Norwich today, so I thought I'd come up early, have a little wander around. Very happy here, I was here from 1995 to 1998. It's a brilliant place. Now I know a lot of you are younger than me, I know that from the analytics, and also because YouTube's generally got younger people in, hasn't it? I'm 42, most people are younger than 42 are on YouTube, I'd say. And some of you might be going to university, so I thought I'd tell you my thoughts on university while I'm here. Now when I was choosing a university, I looked around quite a few different places, I looked around Leicester, Leeds, York, it all seemed very nice, but the reason 
I think I picked Norwich is because I was quite keen on a campus type university where you've got like sort of fun, lots of people or students around. Uh, but I also wanted to have a sort of city around and Norwich got the best of that. It's a sort of campus just outside the city. You can still walk in about half an hour into the city centre uh, and so you've got the sort of best of both worlds. But some of you might want a city place, some of you might want a campus thing. Just do you like I guess. Good advice that. There are plenty of other reasons why I love the University of East Anglia. The architecture is amazing if you like that sort of brutalist concrete thing but then there's also the Sainsbury Centre for Visual Arts which I like more now as an adult. The only time you'd ever go there as a student was when you, you, your mum came to visit and then you'd go and pretend you're there every day. But really, not so much. So there's a great sports facility, the big sports centre there that's um, been expanded a lot since I was there. It's a very beautiful place, lovely lakes, rabbits running around, birds everywhere. Really peaceful place and a great place to sort of make that transition from living at home you sort of tell you after to the real world where it's all a bit ah! this is like a sort of starter thing and that's one of the best things about uni apart from obviously the fact that you get a university degree and a good education is that it helps you I don't know get used to life I reckon but the difference was when I went to uni it was free government paid your tuition absolutely nothing in fact I got a grant in my first couple of years I think uh, because we had a lower income than whatever the threshold was, so I actually got paid a bit to come here, which is a bit harsh now on people now, I don't, don't really like it, people have to pay, it doesn't seem fair, particularly laws brought in, but people my age had free education and all that, but it's not really, not really my fault, but would I go now? I don't know. So I studied economics while I was here, but I had no intention of going into banking or anything that requires an economics degree. I just wanted to do a subject and have the experience of university. But now, if you're going to be paying £27,000, it's quite a lot of money if you don't need a degree to get that experience. So, I don't know, there's other things you could do. I mean, you could spend a lot less than £27,000 travelling the world and maybe dipping your toe into the world of work, which I sort of did in the year after university anyway. But, I don't know, it depends what you want to do, I guess. But, if you are going to go to university, this is my advice for when you start. Now you're probably going somewhere where you don't know anyone, or there might be one person from your school or something there. So, you've got to make friends at some stage, really, otherwise it's a bit rubbish. So, you might get lucky. I mean, I was blessed by the gods of university room allocation. I mean, just last weekend I was camping with a couple of people that I live with at university. Uh, I went skiing to Whistler with a couple of people uh, earlier in the year that I, was, I knew from uni. Got loads of mates still from uni, so you get lucky, but sometimes you have to work at it. Friends are gonna come from different sources. You might get lucky if you're staying in university accommodation, or you might find people on your course that you like. But my advice would be join as many clubs and societies as you're remotely interested in. You can easily bin them off if you don't like it. They're not that expensive to join. And you might be surprised which ones you get quite involved in. Like, I thought I was going to do a lot of football when I was here, join the football club, but I wasn't, didn't really get that into it. Ended up playing hockey for a bit. I hate hockey, I'm rubbish at hockey, but it's a good fun bunch of people. And I made a lot of friends through that. If you have any idea of the sort of industry you're going to go for, try and join some clubs or societies that benefit that as well. I joined the University of East Anglia radio station Livewire, uh, a lot of fun there and I met people that I still know now and through work things as well. In fact my job, my first job in media as a runner at TV studios and my job at Soccer AM I got via my mate Dan who's been in a few videos here. Uh, so I think yeah if you can find things that are relevant to what sort of thing you want to do it will benefit you not just in learning and having fun but also people you'll know later on when you have to get a job and grow up. Now one of the things you'd be expected to do at university is work and study. I didn't do loads if I'm totally honest. But I knew I didn't really need a degree for what I wanted to get into. I knew I wanted to do media stuff. I knew I could, it'd be useful to have a degree. But I don't know, it just hasn't really affected me in my life. I've been asked once if I had a degree, my first ever job. I said yes, it's never been mentioned since. I think I got asked what type of degree it was, I got a 2-2, uh, but it's never come up, it's never been an issue, I've never not got a job 
because of it. So for me, not doing much work was kind of the right decision. I spent a lot more time at the student radio station that benefited me a lot more than that and a lot of time having fun and learning about life. So you've got to make a decision, haven't you? I'd say err on the side of work if you think you might need it. Like if you wanted to become a lawyer or an accountant or something, you might well need a, a certain degree to get into one of the big companies. But I don't necessarily think that working as hard as you can is the only possible route to having a good time and getting the most out of it. <laughs> Careers advisor won't tell you that, will they? It's worth bearing in mind that you can get a bit lonely starting university and you can feel a bit sad. But it didn't last very long for me. It was a week or two, I think, when you're all a bit, oh, I don't really know anyone, have I made the right decision? Am I gonna enjoy this? All that sort of stuff. And then you make friends, and I think the more work you put into making friends, you always, you get more benefits. I wasn't particularly confident at school, I don't think, and I really sort of came into my element at university. It gives you that sort of chance to reinvent yourself a bit, doesn't it? You can be a bit cooler or, I don't know, into different stuff. You've not got the pressure of your parents or whatever telling you you should be doing a certain thing, and you haven't got people who've known you all your life, you get a sort of clean start. So you can sort of do what you want. So if you aren't confident, you can, I know people always say, sort of fake it till you make it, but you can. You can just sort of go out there and try and pretend you're confident. Go out and meet people, join clubs. And, and bear in mind, everyone's in the same boat. A lot of the time you'll be joining clubs and everyone else is new, everyone else is, doesn't know anyone. They're desperate to make friends and just smile, say hello. And, you'd be all right. I mean, you might be really confident, you're just gonna absolutely tear through the place, so good luck to you. I think that's the best bit about starting uni. You get like a clean slate. No one knows that you wet yourself on a school trip when you were 13. So an old clean opportunity, reinvent yourself, do what you like, be the person you wanna be, I guess. It sounded really hippie, didn't it? So I guess what I'm saying is if you are starting university, just embrace it take the opportunities you've got. You're never gonna have another chance to have this many different things available to you, this this open environment. I find the university is very, certainly UEA is a very sort of welcoming place, a very accepting place and a very you know, progressive sort of environment. So you really can just make yourself the person you wanna be, as I've said, and just embrace it. I had the best three years. Like, I mean, when I was in Canada, I had a great time. I loved it, but I know that people had a better time than me. Nobody had a better time than I did in the three years I spent here. Might have had as good a time, but no one had a better time. So embrace it, get stuck in, and just love it. I take the chance. Bye.